but why did you choose ranger not marines or well army right um because i didn't speak english back then so the per first person that came and talked to me was uh army recruiter he showed me a really cool video about being an infantry even if i wanted to be something else because i wasn't a u.s citizen i was Ill illegal <laughs> it's a good story actually so so i was playing football american football in my high school that's normally where recruiters go to you know get the ones that didn't get to college <laughs> offer them uh, offer them um, uh, a military contract so they come to me my brother graduated two years before my sister graduated the year before so i would have been the third one to try to go to college and uh, you know in the south central ghetto no no money for school kind of thing my brother had a scholarship so he was clear uh he was illegal too actually and this is kind of it helped me out uh, my sister was born in the u.s uh but uh, she didn't get a scholarship or anything so you know she we had to pay for for school so i kind of knew when i was 12 13 that i was gonna have to join the military i didn't know that i was illegal so when the guy came the recruiter came to me and he was like, uh, hey, yeah, man, let's check out this video. You can be infantry, blah, blah, blah. And I go to my mom and I'm like, hey, mom, I'm, uh, el señor me dijo que, que puedo meterme al army. <laughs> so I told her that I was going to join the army. She's like, uh, yeah, you can't. You're not, you don't have papers. You, you're, you're illegal. And I'm like, what? I didn't know what that meant. So, so my mom's like, yeah, you don't have, we came here with a passport and then we just overstayed. So you don't have, you don't have papers. So then I told my recruiter and he was, I guess he's so used to it. He's in LA, right? So he says most of the people that he tries to recruit are either, they either have criminal backgrounds or they're, they don't have paper, they're illegal. And so he was so, he's like, oh my God, you're serious? But then my mom said that because my brother had a scholarship, uh, one of her teachers convinced my biological dad who had become a citizen to sponsor him so that he can get these scholarships. He had two scholarships uh, to the same school for different things, academics and at athletics. And so by that, because he graduated two years before, all the paperwork was already in and I was literally months away from getting my green card. And so I was supposed to sign up. I signed up in May of 1998, signed the contract and everything. And then I had a parking ticket, which I was supposed to lie about but I was too nervous to lie. I'm not, I'm not a big liar. And so I, I was honest and then it backed me up and then I realized, oh, you don't even have, you don't even have a social or anything. And so I ended up leaving in August uh, for the military. Um, and so, yeah, so that's why I joined the army. Ranger, I mean, they had so many slots for ranger school and none of the, none of the sergeants wanted to take the, uh, the slots. So I ended up just, you know, I literally barely spoke any English. I understood everything uh, and that was fine. But, uh, I was the kind of private that you call my name and I come running. Like, uh, it used to be Vasquez back then. I'm like, Vasquez, and I'm like, running. Ah, yes, sir. What do you need, sir? Ah. And, uh, very, very thick accent. And so, I wasn't even supposed to go to range school because I didn't have the rank. I was brand new, uh, but they sent me to the pre-ranger and then I, I, I passed that and they're like, uh, technically we're not supposed to send you because you're, you're too new. You're supposed to have more time in service, but you already finished all these, you know, all these pre-ranger qualifications. They have two schools before you actually go to the main school. So I passed those and uh, like three days before they're like, yeah, I don't know if we can take it. We got to talk to the big boss, right? The commander the battalion commander and so they took me over there and they're like um yeah if i say i'm not supposed to send you but if i send you are you gonna be okay are you know you're not gonna you know you're not gonna fail on us i'm like uh no no i'm ready i can go i can do it uh, i was you know i was pretty muscular back then pretty in good shape and so they're like okay and so i went as the 19 year old from hawaii which is like uh, super unheard of Got to range school. I recycled the first phase because I was too nice. I was, uh, you it's a leadership school, so you're supposed to be kind of like aggressive and hey, I need you to do this. I need you to do that. And I was instead of doing that, I was like, uh, oh, can can I get you guys? Can can you um, can can I? You have to wake up. Can you wake up? You know. So they're like, no, 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 no. You gotta be. And so I had to recycle that first phase, and then I went straight through after that. Um, and that's really it. I never really considered the Marines. I never considered the uh, uh, Air Force. I don't think I could have uh, earned, entered. I don't think I could have gone into the Air Force because a lot of the jobs there are uh, they require uh, secret clearance, and I wouldn't have been able to get one.